keeps saying the kings, why would the sons pass on him? Why would the, you want to know why the sons are going to pass I, him? I, I, I do uh, want to know uh, why. Are you going to I'm, know why? Well, my job here is to ask you questions, and I'm asking you Wait, well, why. Guess what? The Por sons, que, right the sons Por listen, que? Mom. The sons are going to pass oh. on him by Luka Doncic. Wow. Listen, when I played in the Spanish League, this kid was about 16 or 17 years old at the time, balling out for Real Madrid. And for those who don't know, if this is baseball, he's playing for the Yankees at 16 wait, years wait, old. Wait, wait, wait. If, if this, this is, is soccer, basketball, if, if this is soccer, it's... he's Cristiano Ronaldo with Real Madrid. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so this Luka Doncic, as I watch him, he's 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, he can shoot the ball. He's a guy out of this entire draft that understands angles. And he's a guy also that can play the point guard position in a positionless basketball game and play on the ball, off the ball. You can put this guy anywhere on the floor. He's going to be successful. I love Shanae, I love you. You, you. you know your stuff. You, 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 you put it out there, but are you kidding me to tell me that Lucas shouldn't have been number one? I've been screaming from the mountaintops. This kid should have been drafted number one. I played in the Spanish league the same time Luca was there. The one thing I know about that league is very skill-based. There's no weaknesses in this kid's game. He's been playing against grown men. So as he gets to the NBA, that transition was going to be seamless. If you see the way that the NBA, NBA basketball is played today, it's very positionless. It's very guard-oriented. Those are the guys that go and win you hear me hear me they win you championships so Luka Doncic is a guy who's 6'8 he can play the point guard position he can dribble shoot pass if there's one knock you gotta find Shanae it's athleticism and I understand that and if I look at Aiton I love what Aiton does He's not Garnett. He's not Shaquille O'Neal. This isn't a guy, this ain't Joel Embiid. This isn't a guy that just tears down, tears down NBA defense. If I look at Trey Young, Trey Young ain't going to be Steph Curry. As a matter of fact, I think at this age, he's better than Steph. He's stronger. He's more sturdy. He passes better. But realistically, oh, I, I don't know how you missed this. Yes, first at of that all, age. At first, that age. First of all, first of all, you got to slow your roll, my friend. Um, because the two teams in which I mentioned, they found guards that really work for them. And as great as Luka Doncic has been so far, the guards that they have, Trey Young is not having a Joe Schmo, regular Schmegular type of year. Bron James, Charles Barkley, Blake Griffin. We've been watching this kid's highlights since he was a junior in high school. We don't see guys that move like that, dog. 6'8", 280 pounds. Come on, D-Jones. He's must-see TV. He, he single-handedly, listen, brought back college basketball. Literally, the college basketball ratings went up 15%. Duke basketball up 30%. We actually broke down college basketball. Jay Williams, Jay Billis, all these dudes are thanking Zion Williamson for what he did. This kid has been must-see TV. And the question is, how's he going to translate to the NBA? What's he going to do? And if you hadn't noticed, we gave up faith on New York. It's nobody watching New York basketball. We quit. People watching Brooklyn, watching L.A., watching Kawhi Leonard. Knicks fans are fed up, dog. So there are absolutely zero expectations for the New York Knicks. Nobody believes in uh, 2020, 2021, uh, 2022, dog. Listen. And you mean them say they looking for – I like R.J. That's my young boy. I love him. But listen – you gonna get this soup, dog. You keep saying Zion Williams and don't have no expectations now. No, I didn't say it. Okay, so, go ahead. So, oh. uh oh, Rachel. We're, 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 so, so we're clarifying. You're telling me that a number one pick in the NBA draft has no pressure? Not this, not not this number one pick because he has Michael Oliver Candy. But you you're talking about LeBron James. Listen, look, I mean, ultimately the stage is set. I'm not saying it should be or might be. It has to be Zion Williamson. He absolutely has to win rookie of the year, whether he's you know, in a good situation or not. He's got to put up numbers to show you promise. So even if he's on a team on the cusp of the playoffs, he's got to lead them to the playoffs. If he's on a bad team, he's got to put up numbers. You want to see the big, the P word. You know the P word, dog? Potential. As a coach, when you sat in that war room and you guys were drafting players, what can he become? What can he become? What are we talking about RJ Barrett becoming? A good basketball player? What are we talking about Zion Williamson becoming? LeBron James. No, you can't compare Zion Charles Williamson. Charles Barkley. You can't compare Blake those Griffin. Guys. He